today's video, we're going to extract lavender oil with the process of hydro distillation. Then I will refine it down into pure oil. This oil can then be used as a scent profile for perfumes, cosmetics, and more. I, however, will be attempting to make a basic scented sanitizer. Lavender oils contain a variety of different compounds that combine together to create the smell that we associate with lavender. Some of the compounds are linalool, lavandulol, linalool acetate, lavandulol acetate, eucalyptol, and camphor oil. Ideally, we'll have a mixture of all of these oils at the end of our process. So let's get started. We start by adding 30 grams of lavender buds in a round bottom flask. Ideally, fresh lavender is used, however my lavender has been dry and this causes my yield to be pretty poor. I then add 250 milliliters of water followed by stirring and letting the lavender soak up some of the water. Once most of the water was soaked up, I add an additional 50 milliliters of water. Following this, I set up a short path distillation apparatus and turn on my condenser. Hydro distillation is ideal for pulling oil from organic materials. Water makes the last separation much easier, and the product will also be free of any other solvents like ethanol. Next, I raise my heating mantle, followed by turning on to a medium heat. After just a few minutes, the water heats up and starts to boil in the flask. The steam from the water will pass through the lavender and carry the volatile oils to be condensed. Additionally to oils, we will see some of the color be drained from the lavender at the same time. As the steam travels through the distillation apparatus, the vapor will be condensed down back into the liquid and flow into the receiving flask. Once the water is boiled nicely, I turn down the heat slightly as not to damage the oils I am bringing over with high heat. Once I turn it down, we can see I'm getting a pretty nice drip in my receiving flask. After 3 hours, the distillation is mostly complete and I turned everything off and waited for it to cool down. In my receiving flask, I was left with 125 milliliters of water and oil mixture called hydrosol, which means I have around 175 milliliters sitting in the boiling flask still. I will work with both of these separately to collect as much oil as possible. First, the hydrosol. I have decided to salt out the additional oil. To do this, we just add a super saturated solution of sodium chloride and mix it up and let it sit for a few days. Next, we will filter out the rest of the water from our boiling flask. To do this, I have a travel coffee cup that has a metal strainer built in. This is great for filtering out larger particles like plant materials. I add all of the lavender buds into the coffee cup and strain the water and oils. I set it aside for a few hours and come back to my hydrosol mixture. We can see that a nice layer of oil has formed at the top of the flask. I could use a separatory funnel, however since there was such little oil, I decided to use a syringe to pull off the top layer. Tipping the flask to one side will sometimes let the oil build up and make it easier to syringe off. From here, we can see my poor yield of just about 2 milliliters of semi-pure lavender oil. Once again, if I used fresh lavender, my yield would have been much better. Considering it's winter though, fresh lavender is hard to find where I live. Now, back to the oil and water I strained from the lavender in the boiling flask. We can see after a few hours, all of the smaller particles have sunk to the bottom. We easily filter off these with some cotton. Since I have so little, I decided to filter it through a syringe. We can now see that the oil, which is still pretty dark, but it is much more clear and we can actually see through it. This can be used as a hydrosol in homemade cosmetics or as a strong lavender water. For the more pure lavender oil though, I'll be using it to make a scent as a basic hand sanitizer. For this I will need ethanol, aloe vera, and a reusable bottle. Aloe vera from the plant is preferred, however aloe gel will work as well. The main difference is the aloe gel usually has a chemical binder in it that we'll need to filter out later. I will start by adding 66 milliliters of ethanol to a bottle. I will be using 2 parts ethanol to 1 part aloe vera gel, followed by adding in some lavender oil. And I added about 10 drops to start. We will then mix the ethanol and oil.
Next, we'll have the aloe vera gel. Most store-bought aloe vera gel on shelves has a chemical binder in them. Specifically in this brand of aloe vera, it's called Carbomer. It is most commonly used within gel products to keep their gel consistency. It is also used to keep emulsions occurring from between the oil and liquid components. Carbomer is not at all soluble in alcohols, so it will be precipitated out as a white glob when we mix the solution. I will let the solution sit for about 2 hours before simply filtering off the carbomer with a funnel and a coffee filter. It was very quick to filter and didn't give me any issues. After this our sanitizer is ready and we can choose to add in additional oils for smell. Finally, looking at the carbomer, we can see it is a sticky white goop. However, it is extremely elastic and strong when pulled. It's almost like a high strength silly putty. Once dried out though, we are able to see its elastic properties a little better. However, as it dried out, it did lose a lot of its strength as well. At the end of things, we can see our lavender buds that we extracted from. Our crude lavender water. And our semi-pure lavender oil. And finally, some of the hand sanitizer that we made. In the future, I plan to put out more chemistry related videos. Right now, I'm working on extracting caffeine from multiple types of coffee and doing a side by side comparison. A big shout out to all of my Patreon subscribers for helping support my videos. You can see their names here, and they help fund my future videos and projects. Chemistry can be expensive, so I really appreciate it. Then, you can see a list of all the videos I'm working on here. And, until next time, have a great rest of your day.